All right, well, I wanted to show some uh, friends, some people back home, what I've been working on this semester. I have here a uh, line following robot. Um, I guess uh, the more interesting part is just how it works. It uses these eight sensors on the bottom to track whether it's on a line by looking at the light intensity. So if it's black, it doesn't get much feedback. If it's white, it does. Um, and so it can, it can kind of tell where on this line it is based on which sensors are activated. A um, couple little things uh, if you're curious. Uh, this is the microprocessor, so this is the computer that basically the entire brains of the entire thing. This one here, even though bigger, all it's doing is transmitting some serial uh, over wireless. And I got a couple of uh, voltage regulators and whatnot. Uh, details on that if you're interested will be, uh, I'll have a link to that on the website on uh, YouTube. And uh, so let's go ahead and power this thing on. And so it should go in a few seconds. I have a little timer that counts down before it goes. That way I had time to unplug any programming cables I had attached to it. Now it's going to do really horrible at the beginning, especially on this curve here. It's always going to mess that up. Um, but what I have set up for it is that it will gradually get better. I used a um, technique called simulated annealing and it should learn how to follow this line. Now it's going to take a few runs before it gets any uh, any better but it will eventually find some values that work for it and what it's doing is it's assigning how much it should it thinks it should turn to uh, get around a corner and it usually takes it seems like five to ten runs before it randomly finds something like that. But once it's found it it'll start doing better from there on out and uh, it'll keep improving from there. It might again try one that doesn't work quite right. Oh, I didn't have to touch it that time. But um, this one here, hopefully that registered as a good one, which I will look on my computer in just a second once it starts doing better. I can actually leave it alone. And I'll show the output that it goes that throws over the wireless serial uh, to tell me if it's found something better, but I can't exactly get over to my computer right now. This thing needs some serious babysitting. It's picked some really, really bad values. I'm going to have to walk, walk it through this entire loop. Um, now, it may seem like cheating that I'm walking it through right now, but that's just part of the uh, that's just part of the cost of exploring new uh, possibilities. It, it has no idea that it needs to turn harder or it, need, or it needs to turn less. All it knows is that it's taking longer for it to um, make it around the track than it should. So please work this time. There we go. So hopefully for the rest of the time here it should be good. It's actually done a few times so yeah so now I should hopefully never have to touch it again. made around that hard corner. So if you look at my output log, you'll see, and this isn't really in good focus, I don't know how to fix that, but here every time it says new best found three different times, each time it said that. Oh, there I just got another lap that was, uh, it was uh, it's the best lap that it's had so far. And so it's gradually doing better and better. And I have it set for 20 runs. Once it's completed 20 runs from the time that I started it, it's going to stop and it's going to start printing out all the data um, that I ha that it's collected and how it's and basically it'll show how it made its decisions. Um, <coughs> I'll post a link to actually the, the Google code page where I have this. Uh, it's open source. You guys can um, so on, so wanted to they can make one of their own run the exact same code. I'll have a parts list up there. Most of the stuff is from. Uh, Lulu.com. Uh, they have, you know, this really easy to build kit basically, but, um, you know, the, the, the point of this is mostly to do learning, and this as a side thing, I wanted to play around with minor electronics at the same time. So it should be getting close to being done. It's going to be a little bit boring from here out until it finishes, but and I apologize for that, but that's just uh, the way it goes. You can skip forward in the video till it stops if you like. Or
There, it finished. And so over here on the computer, it's printing out all the different values it tried. And again, I apologize it's not in focus, but you can program this yourself if you like. The code is up there. But it's just printing out all the data that it's found and showing how it came up with uh, the decisions on what the best values for P, I, and D are. And uh, I guess I should have explained that. I was using a PID controller to steer, uh, which is pretty, uh, pretty much a standard way to control uh, robots. Um, but the thing is that you have to play around with the values for P, I, and D quite a bit. And I did not want to take the time to do that, and I wanted to just have it learn the values on its own. But yeah, again, here is the mic controller, and yeah, I need to learn how to focus my camera. But I'll have some better pictures up online. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching.